Here we go, it's the grand final edition. You're listening to Jason's Weekend Footy Update. It is, of course, the Tigers and the Cats tonight at the Wet Gabba. But before we get into the grand final, uh, Lockie Neal won the Brownlow during the week. There he was, and he was on the uh, hot breakfast the day after and had this to say. It was a uh, pretty special night, um, not only for me, but for my family and, and friends and, and the footy club as well. On the night, I, I probably wasn't that confident until um, it was mathematically impossible because you just never know with these things. On the same night, they also uh, awarded the uh, goal of the year, which went to Josh Dacos from Collingwood, but we all know what the real goal of the year was. He's removing chairs at the moment, you. <laughs> he's <laughs> out the security bloke. He's rolled a chair. Here we go, Dan. He's got things on his mind. Fremantle line up on the mark. Newns has kicked. Oh. It's a match. Oh. That really was the, uh, the goal of the year. Um, uh, but the reason that we were really there at the Brownlow was to find out who won Mark of the Year, and it was, of course, Sam Walsh. Obviously Carlton. a bit of a shock, but also a uh, huge honour, so thank you. Thanks also to the AFL and everyone back home watching. Um, we love playing this game, and we'll be able to do it with all your help, so thank you. And, of course, uh, this is how they call it on AFL Nation. Hambles to Boak, who runs and carries. Oh, it towards Dixon, but with courage, extreme courage, Sam Walsh. He had a 110 kilo man running at him, and he took the mark. So Sam Walsh, mark of the year for Carlton. Um, of course, it's the grand final tonight, and um, they're trying to keep people off the streets and out of parties and stuff like that. To appeal to the kids, the uh, government have, uh, released this during the week. Your household, and only the members of your household. That's how grand final day has to be. <laughs> So hopefully the, uh, the kids pay attention to that one. Um, and we can't go another episode without having Collingwood Watch. Brendan Sanderson and, and Nathan Buckley. Uh, Collingwood star Jordan Degoe has been charged with indecent assault. It's just been a year of controversy for Collingwood and that happened again this week. The boss of Australia Post has been ordered to stand aside over a scandal that the Prime Minister's called appalling and disgraceful. An investigation's been launched into why senior executives were given Cartier watches worth ah. thousands of dollars. They got watches. They were a Cartier watch of about a value of $3,000 each. So it's gone from $12,000 to $20,000. That was uh, Christine Holgate, the Australia Post boss, of course, on the board for Collingwood. Oh, can they ever keep out of the news? Um, speaking of uh, board members, this is what Ando had to say on the Herald Sun podcast a while ago. A lot of board members are people who are sitting on a board because they're rich, and some of that's inherited wealth. Um, a lot of them are total tools and tosses. Oh, my goodness. So, uh, on a serious note, this happened during the week. North Melbourne is now officially on the search for a new senior coach after Reece Shaw and the club today agreed to part company. So, our thoughts go to Reece Shaw and his family. Now, there's a lot of bands playing tonight. They're all Queensland-based. One of them is uh, Wolf Mother. And Andrew Stockdale was asked during the week, is he a fan of the AFL? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm into it. <laughs> Don't know a lot about it. It's not my game. But, uh, yeah, you know. So there you go. Big AFL fan there, Andrew Stockdale. Um, so tonight, if Richmond win, uh, Ash Barty's going to be giving away the cup. And if Geelong win, it's Ian Nan Curvis. Uh, Mick Malloy has this to say about Ash Barty presenting the cup. You know what? If you've got to go with a tennis player, I would have thought Bernard Tomic was probably the best. <laughs> He's a local boy, and he could get us in a Hollywood play by his So I suppose if Collingwood had uh, 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 run the play, they could have got Alicia Bollock. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So uh, Feb also had uh, comments about this during the week, but uh, Feb needs his own intro. So there you go. Feb had this to say about Ash Barty presenting the Cup on Fox FM during the week. And this year, the Tigers have nominated um, Ash Barty, tennis player. She's a supporter. She was in the grandstands about 150 rows back last week um, with a pot going, yes, and I love Ash Barty. Yes, supporter. She's like a cheer squad member. Yeah. But should she be giving away the Premiership Cup to the Premiership uh, captain and coach? I don't think so. So it is the grand final tonight. The uh, Cats and the Tigers at the uh, Gabba. Now, the Cats have been playing well at the Gabba. Richmond, not so much. They play more uh, or better at Metricon. 
This is what uh, the Rush Hour had to say about Cats of the Gabba during the week. Speaking of no problems, don't the Cats love the Gabba? Five games there this year at the Gabba. Five wins by, I think, an average of 40-odd points. They yeah. do love the Gabba. What is Richmond? Do you know? I they're... think Richmond have just played the three games. They're 2-1 yeah. and one at the Gabba. They prefer Metricon Stadium they this do. year. They've loved playing there. But uh, I think Richmond are a side that can play anywhere, anytime. Yeah. And, you know, they're going to show up. So... Yeah, it sets up for an awesome contest. So let's hear how the uh, the, the prelims are finished uh, for both sides. And it will be the Tigers goes through to another grand final. There's the siren. The Cats are into the grand final. They'll take on the Tigers next week. So what Tom Lynch has been in the news all this year for the, all the wrong reasons. He's been uh, fined five times. He's been getting into a few little scuffles behind play. People calling him the sniper, all that sort of stuff. We've been getting into him as well. But uh, I rang him during the week and we uh, buried the hatchet. He had this to say. Yeah, it's all um, be ingrained in the Richmond culture and um, really learn, learn a lot through leadership, through Trent, um, Dimmer, Jack, old man Jason. It's just been great. So, uh, yeah, so we're uh, back on uh, good terms again. Um, but we had to put uh, the lie detector on Tom Lynch during another press conference here during the week. So uh, we'll see how many lies he tells in this little uh, grab here. Um, oh, this is a to be honest, I Dougal Howard, um, I know it looked bad. It wasn't a great looking game. Uh, I don't want to be betrayed as that. I didn't actually realise it was on the day, but um, people thought I was believing it. So the uh, lie detector there going through the roof on uh, Tom Lynch. Um, the, there's a lot of speculation about how the uh, the weather conditions are going to be like at the Gabba tonight. It's going to be wet and windy and there's going to be a lot of dew making the uh, ball slippery. So there's a lot of concern about that. Yesterday at the Gabba, the uh, captains and the coaches had their presser. It was very windy. Let's have a little bit, a little bit of a listen to see how that went. <laughs> Wasted. So tonight it is, of course, the Tigers and the Cats. Am I going to be? Go Tigers! Or? Go Cats, you beauty. What about Trump? Who's he going for? I don't know. So I don't know. So uh, before I make a decision who I'm going to go for tonight, let's hear from uh, assistant Richmond coach Justin Lepich. Some of our performances at the Gabba haven't been our best. You know, Sydney, Gold Coast, uh, even the Brisbane game. Um, so we feel maybe there's some things in our prep that we can do a little better. So who am I going to go Oi, for? Here we go. go then, Jason. You've heard um, that. What are you thinking? Jason? Oh, I don't know. Um, before I make my decision, how about uh, we ask Scott Morrison what he thought of today's video? It's appalled. Oh. It's disgraceful. Ah. Oh. And it's not on. Oh, well. Um, all right. I think I've made up my mind. Who am I going for? <laughs> going to go for the Tigers. Let's know, guys, because Richmond's here, and we're the only team that you should fear. Hope it's a good game. Enjoy the game. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you very much.